So from the beautiful country course, racing continues here this weekend on Saturday at Hollywood Beds, Dermanville. I want to see you all there. I want to see you come and watch some potential stars in the making. The main attraction here is the Cape Racing Sales ready to run stakes for a gross stake of 600,000 Rand. Two horses that I'm familiar with are at the top of the boards. The horse they all need to beat is Sean Terry's Taylor the Comet, who gets the services of Richard Faree. Now, Taylor the Comet galloped here under Richard Faree on Saturday before the race meeting. All reports are that the, the gallop was very prompt promising to show Taylor the Comet the track. He's likely to start the favourite. He was very impressive in his first win at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. He was actually impressive in defeat in a second start on Gold Cup Day at Hollywood Bet's Gravel and impressive in his third win when beating Biofarmer at Turfentine, which set him up quite nicely for the Cape summer season. I believe there are quite a few targets starting with the ready-to-run stakes. And then just be lack of the filly. Phillies actually have a good record in this race. She started her career with two wins, beating Bavarian Beauty in her second start, who went on to win the Douglas White Tech Winnie Stakes at Hollywood Bet's Gravel on Gold Cup. Cup day. And then her main danger, or according to the market anyway, Just Be Lacquer, also up from the half vault. She started her career with two wins, beating Bavarian Beauty in her second start, who obviously subsequently won the Grade 1 Douglas White Tick Winnie Stakes at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Gold Cup Day. And her prep run came in the Joburg Spring Challenge when finishing a very promising third behind Feather Boa, who was placed at Grade 1 level, including in the Ridgemont Garden Province Stakes on Hollywood Bets Durban July Day. So all that form looks good. Just Be Lacquer will be arriving here in Cape Town on Wednesday. So let's see how all that sets up. That goes alongside the listed South Easter Sprint, also goes alongside the Prestige Plate. Looking forward to all of the feature races and more here at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. That's not all that's happening this weekend because we've got the Cape Racing Sales ready to run sale that happens here on Sunday. Now the gallops starts at 9 o'clock here on Sunday morning at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. The good news is that a lot of the horses, if not all of them, have already galloped here at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. So you, although you can expect a few horses to be inexperienced, they've seen their surroundings, they should be battle hardened and show you exactly what they're going to be up to on the track when they eventually go to their new homes. Not forgetting, of course, that the sale starts at 2 o'clock. Now, all the horses that come under the hammer will be up for the new Cape Racing Sale Incentive Bonus Scheme, where up to 4 million rand will be put together, 100,000 rand for the first 40 winners to qualify at a Cape Racing Sales Incentives, and all that and more with all the various uh, carrots that are dangling in front of connections here in the Cape. So it's a great time to get involved and to potentially pick your next champion and get them through the system here in Cape Town. Obviously, the new juvenile program is it's very exciting and a lot of trainers from all around the country will be coming here to compete with that newly turned two-year-old. So that's what's coming up this weekend. We're looking forward to getting into Hollywood Bets Kenilworth as well uh, later on in November. It's a fantastic time to be in the Cape to be watching all the potential champions coming through and also all the champions that we know about. We'll see you this weekend though at Hollywood Bets Durbanville.